today we're going to talk about coordinates. Let's imagine there's a fly on the ceiling. How would you communicate with someone else who wasn't in the room where to find it? René Descartes faced the same problem and solved it by relating the fly's position according to how far it was from each of his walls in the room, and thereby he invented the X and Y Cartesian coordinate system that we know of today. Coordinates are important in communicating where and how things are placed in the world. Maps, aircrafts, and architecture blueprints all use a form of coordinate system. So naturally, the Australian curriculum introduces the ability to use grid maps and the XY coordinate system quite early on in the year three. In 2D environments, in computer settings, we also use the Cartesian coordinate system that we talked about earlier. In simulating a 2D environment, we can literally extend the learner's knowledge of the axes, and that movement of the axes can play quite literally on how the character moves along the axis as we want it to. So here, if we want the character to move to the right, we need to change the x position by a positive number. Whereas if it was to the left, we change it by a negative number. And the same goes for up and down. To change the y position to go up, we have to do it positively and negatively for down. And we also create opportunities for the, the learner to experiment with how it changes in magnitudes also impacts how the magnitude of the movement changes along the axis. So by changing the walking speed here, we can see that the cat starts to move faster.